once the third graders learned how to calculate the area of a rectangle, we used what we knew about rectangles and to find the missing side length um, if they were given the area. So here is an example of a rectangle when you know uh, both lengths, um, the length on this side of a rectangle is going to be equal to the other side of the rectangle, which is two centimeters. But if you have the area already, and you know that the area is 24 square centimeters, then you can figure out the missing side. And we used an unknown variable to figure that out. So since it's the width we need to find, um, we can call that W. And so we want to know what W equals. Uh, one strategy that the kids learned was um, they could use what they know about multiplication, and they could keep multiplying the two until they get to 24 so that they could skip count and see how many times they need to skip some count. So they could say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and then 24. Right? And they got to 24, and that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. Therefore, that means that W equals 12. W equals 12, so this side is 12 centimeters. That was one strategy. Um, some also used division, and they could divide 24 um, by 2 to figure out the missing side. Um, here's another example, finding a side length if you know the area of a square or rectangle. Um, the kids learned that they could represent, um, if they say that it's square square units, um, they can put a 2 up at the top. So this one we have for this little rectangle, you have 14 um, uh, square millimeters. You know that that equals the area already. And then you know that you have a side which is 2. Um, we also learned to use our fact families. So they know that 2 times an unknown, we need to find the width again right here. Um, we could call that W, or actually in this problem, they're already calling that um, M. So we can call that M, and we know that 2, the length times the width equals area. So 2 times M will equal 14. And M times 2 equals 14. But then they also know in their fact family of multiplication that there's division. So 14 divided by um, 2 equals M. And then 14 divided by M equals 2. Then they look for the equation that they can solve. So 14 they can divide by 2. So for, to figure out the missing side. So 14 divided by 2. Kids know in division, they can use a strategy, and they can start with their number, and they can keep subtracting um, subtracting um, until they get to 0. So 14 take away 2 is 12. 12 take away 2 is 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. 8 take away 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2, and then 2 take away another 2 is 0. So they counted back and they shared, they um, made all of these groups of 2 that they subtracted from the 14, and they need to figure out how many times they needed to make these groups of 2 or subtract the 2. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 times. 7 times, so 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And this is a strategy that we've been using for division, um, is this repeated subtraction, and the number line helps them organize. So M equals 7, and it's just millimeters, because we already have the area. The area is in square units. So that's how we found a missing side length if we were given the area of a rectangle.